I am Cracked Associate Producer and Earth Human Bridget Greenberg, and as a letter, those two things, I love watching beautiful, magic, strong people fight across New York City and occasionally space as much as the next person, but superhero movies are starting to become like iPhone updates. They just keep coming, and no matter how hard you try to avoid it, you eventually just have to accept them because they never get much better. And look, I get it. Batman v Superman made an absurd amount of money at the box office. I would commission a CGI turned monster for 872 mil, also Snyder. I get it. Good move. And it's obvious that Marvel and DC are gonna keep making movies and printing money until Stan Lee's cyborg becomes self-aware. So until then, we're gonna need something new to keep us interested in our superhero movie of the fiscal quarter. Something that's gonna bring the change of pace these movies desperately need. Or should I say, change of pause. Catwoman. I want, oh, I want a Catwoman movie. Not that one. I specifically asked that we did not use Catwoman is awesome. And if we can keep giving Superman and X-Men chances, Catwoman should get a feature length do over too. She's the hero this city deserves. And if anybody's gonna plug a hole on this sinking superhero movie ship, it's gonna be a cat. Because cats are afraid of what, you know what? Forget it, Catwoman's the best. Here's why. Catwoman is an anti-hero. An actual anti-hero, not just a good guy who makes dirty jokes and murders a few bad guys, or a bad guy who happens to be a protagonist, but a character whose morality exists in a gray area. Sure, sometimes she's fighting crime and macking on Batman, but other times she's teaming up with Bane or stealing stuff from rich douchebags who are into bats. She's like a not boring Robin Hood with somehow tighter tights. And true to most actual cats I know, Selena Kyle is totally unpredictable. One minute she's your buddy, and the next minute she's clawing up all your good shirts and puking on your carpet. It's exciting. Which is why people own cats, I guess. That's always been unclear to me. There are three basic kinds of stories. Man vs. Beast, Man vs. Nature, and Man vs. Self. And with Catwoman's unpredictable nature, an ambiguous moral character, we can skew the superhero movie towards a more Cat vs. Self story, which we rarely get to see in this genre, even though it's more dramatically interesting. Also, explaining that allows me to finally use my film school degree. Quarter of a million dollars well spent. Thanks, Catwoman. New point. This site has been no stranger to the opinion that Marvel and DC movies are all starting to blend together, maybe even more so than our videos about how these movies are starting to blend together, blend together. As an audience member that desperately wants to enjoy these movies again, let's switch up the tone, please. Every time a trailer from one of these comes out, there's a moment of excitement and then the colors get all washed out or Robert Downey Jr. makes a dad joke and I remember that I've already seen this. You complete me. But no, what I haven't seen, not that again. What I haven't seen is a superhero movie with actual surprises. What we've been getting instead of genuine intrigue is phoned in edginess or snark and the occasional unlikely pairing. And that's the beauty of Catwoman. You really don't know what you're gonna get with her. You don't have to overplay your hand with edginess or snark because that tone is already set by the nature of the character. Okay, admittedly, not a great line, but you get the point. She kicks ass, she takes names, and you never know what she's gonna do when she kicks all the ass and takes all the names. So we have an actual compelling reason to keep watching. Maybe she'll steal your family's jewels, or maybe she'll save the entire freaking Justice League like she actually did in the actual comics, which aren't actually real, which I remembered as I was saying this. New point! We are not giving Catwoman her due. Catwoman deserves Beyonce status as far as anyone should be concerned. Comics have had a bit of trouble portraying women well, but as a character, Selena Kyle is empowering. She's an independent, self-made woman. She clawed her way out of the streets from abused orphan to member of the Justice League using her skill and wile. And if that's not the superhero Ayn Rand dreamed of, then you can take my liberal media elite card. I'll need that back later. Well, to add to Catwoman's general badassery, her femininity is part of her power. She uses it to survive and fight and she never once plays a victim unless it's on her terms. <laughs> and my girl is a 100% self-taught superhero. No radioactive freak accidents for her. She's the only superhero doing this on her own human strength and she's holding her own. It is inspiring. Anyone can grow up to be Catwoman, maybe even, I don't know, someone who's already full grown, spends, spends their days producing videos for the internet and their nights working on their uh, cool superhero moves. Check your wallet. Still in my pocket. What? 
Damn it! Worked, worked so hard on that. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to see more Cracked videos, and uh, I don't know, in the comments, uh, tell me what superhero can beat up Catwoman. It's none of them. None. Fight me.